Hi everyone. Today we are here with one of our very special students, Hugh uh, so today we are going to talk about all the projects he has done and how has he executed those projects. And uh, it's going to be a very interesting discussion on his learnings and his journey and what was the problem statement and what was the solution, right? So before we jump right into it, I would like you, Raj, to give a small introduction to us. So hi, everyone. Myself, Yuvraj, speaking from St. Mary's Group of Institutions. Uh, I'm BTEC first year, pursuing artificial intelligence and data science. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, okay, before that, hi, everyone. I'm Artho. Today, I'll be taking this interaction with Yuvraj. So, Yuvraj, uh, can you tell me about the problem statement of your project? What was the problem statement you picked? In the project of uh, hostel management, I took the problem statement of leaves. So, in basically, in, in our students, or especially hostel students, are facing this problem of, you know, applying leave and also uh, applying for other ut utilities, you know, it's physical, it's not digital. So why not we just create a digital application where you, we can mi minimize the, you know, paperwork and also over time. So that's why I come up with this uh, hostel management and also application for leave for hostel students to make easier, to make, to give the comfort of the students. Okay. so. Through this app, any hostel student can apply leaves, apply for leaves, right? Yes. And who approves the leaves? Warden, the hostel wardens of the college. Okay, the hostel wardens of the college approves the leaves. Okay, yes. so can you guide us through what what does your application look like? What all steps does it have? As a user, how what would if I opened your application, what would it look like? The first interface for a student would look like, you know, just a, a login sign up page of, of any application you open. So after uh, logging in, you'll they'll ask you of your role number, of your uh, unique role number given by the college so that we can identify you, whether you are a genuine student or some other, you know, and all. After that, you can use, uh, you know, utilities or the product we, which we'll provide. So one product will be application of leave. So in that, you know, just uh, type the leave type, like how many days you're going to uh, take the leave and why is the reason of that and just send. It's like, uh, you know, just like a WhatsApp message, but in an advanced version. Okay, so it's like a WhatsApp message that would go to the warden or the WhatsApp, like a WhatsApp message that would be uh, sent from the student side. It will be like, ah, send from the student side. Okay, and if I'm a if I'm a warden or if I'm someone from higher authority, how would I know that the leave is sent to me? You'll get a message on your app that so and so student uh, got a message for leave application. If okay. the warden taps, if the warden taps on the leave, he can read the reason. Uh, he can see the record previous record of leave history. And so and so. Okay, so would this data only go to the warden or would it also go to the higher authority of the college? Let's say I'm a student who takes very frequent leaves, like every two days, every three days. So at which point do does that data go to the higher authority? Because if I'm a student who's taking lots of leaves, the higher authority would want to do something, right? You're like your principal, your HODs. Yes. So the data will be stored in the app itself and also not only warden, the higher authorities like principal, uh, director can see it so that no one can, you know, use for a uh, bad purpose and all. And if the re uh, reason is genuine, if the leave reason is genuine and also the leave application acknowledgeable by their parents, the leave will be approved. Otherwise, it will be dif uh, disapproved. Okay, can the parents also see that how many uh, leaves their yes. like children, child or children is taken? Yes. Okay, so do you have another like portal for parents also? Where yes. parents can log? Okay, what does that portal look like? That portal look like like uh, login, uh, entering the a portal where you can enter the hot ticket number of the student and then 
uh, writing the names of their parents and all and then checking the history basically it shows the data of uh, history of your student of leaves and all and all okay so um so you have three stakeholders right one is the student who's applying for the leaves one is the warden and one is the parents right and also higher authority higher authority management. okay management. so does the management's interface also the same interface through which the warden would click or is it a diff completely different interface it is a completely different because warden because warden you know can't just uh, signing and login okay that will be uh, difficult for hackers i mean that will be easy for hackers you know getting in uh, and clearing the data and all so we are different we are creating a different way for warden so warden also has id cards they also have the unique number for them right so by clicking it it will generate an otp from the app itself by entering the otp and all it will be logged in so that's the way for warden okay and what is the way for higher authorities as in principals and hods the same way okay so the principals and hods can they select which hostels data they want to see and yes. all of that yes okay and then can they like search for a specific student if they want yes they can okay so uh, that goes into your idea of the project so now let's talk a little bit of technicalities of the project so where what does the back end of your project look like as in where does the data get stored where do you collect the data from how we does the data the get stored there first collection of the data it will uh, collected by the student by, by taking number of leaves uh, how many number of leaves are approved uh, disapproved etc and uh we're we'll checking uh, another history like uh, the event event handling uh, marks does the marks uh, went to the parent or not getting approved by the parent and all so that's to that all data is the col data collection and coming to the data storage it will be stored in mongodb okay why did you use mongodb specifically to store the data why not other applications i believe it's easy to understand because uh, my uh, my developers told me to because it's very easy way and uh, easy way to start learning the data entry as a data scientist and all okay because it's easier to start with mongodb right yes okay so uh, that's data handling and data storing you talked about marks right can us to like would only leaves be stored in your app or just just the students marks also stored like in accordance to their like the exams and everything product. the leave is only one product another product is marks uh, getting it will be generated by the management and it will be stored in the uh, user id itself like this uh, like this student got this much marks and all and also it can be checked by the parents itself Okay, so would okay, so the, would the management enter the data manually, as in which student got what marks? Yes, the stu yes. Okay, and would the student also be able to see their marks or the list of people like as a list and what marks yes. who got? Yes, they can check. Okay, so uh, your app would give them both an access to request leave, and also see their uh. exam marks yes. is that all or do, does the your app has any other uses it also so third product called events it will give you updates of what events we are uh, celebrating in our college right previously we okay. celebrated uh, nac pro nac event right inspection yes so it, yes so we update you that this day and this time we are going to have come to the uh, this place and all Okay, so uh, the events update would be for your both students and management and parents, everyone. Yes. Would the parents also get an invite of to the like invite of the event? Let's say I'm a parent, and would I get the invite of the event also through your app? Yes, we can. We'll get the invitation through okay. via SMS or like a pop up message from the app. Okay, that makes sense. So, uh. Yuvraj, we talked about your project, and we talked about uh 
the back end so what was the process like like starting from an idea to building the entire full stack application were there any problems you faced errors bugs what were those that you faced and how did you solve it actually first i started with the figma like designing the ui and ux of the application and i think about how to look how to you know attract the you know give the kick of the using the application and all so i didn't feel any difficulty in that first i feel difficulty in the back end of the application so i start after my figma prototype i used i started using back end learning the node js so in that i got like tons of errors uh, solving each error it took like it took me like 1 hour 2 hours so yeah uh, we learn first the back end uh, instead of front end so that's that makes sense to me why we used this okay why why do you think uh, that would make sense i mean why do you think learning the back end first makes sense what what did it actually help you in learning the back end first and front end later see most of us uh, in full stack development most of us would learn front end and go to the back end but what we did we learn back end and then the front end like example if you preparing for mathematics exam let's say you are preparing for max exam first we'll learn difficult questions like first we'll learn difficult questions and then learn the easy questions why because difficult questions gives us more marks so in the same way we learn back end instead of front end because back end is more we know the back end is more complex but still it makes it more it it will makes more important than the front end because in back end we have data handling data structure creating the data portfolio and all okay so did learning the back end first uh, help you in you know when you went to front end what was it much much easier and did you you know what was it helpful then yes it was helpful learning first you know le- le- taking all the risk, uh, taking all the uh, hard things first it will make easier easier things more easier so in front end na it make me more easier to learn quick okay so uh, then how did you go from you know make individually working on node js and react js and then you know uh, implicating it both together into a full stack application what was like that uh, what was like that for you you know uh, connecting react and node together into a full stack application ah uh, yeah correcting connecting again i got in uh, you know some errors connecting full stack and node errors so i didn't really understand what uh, what this was it took me like two days to you know just identify the errors and then it solved it yes and then after uh, do did some bragging and all my full stack was ready i was like peaceful oh my god my full stack is ready let's get uh, let's show it to my parents and all that's it okay what was the reaction from your parents when you showed them i'm sure they would have been very excited to see that you built a complete application yeah especially my father you know my father you know never appreciates me much he appreciates me very rarely but after seeing this oh my god is that really uh, how come a btec first year student is doing this really? wow that's that's amazing yuvraj yes um uh, so yuvraj i think this should end our thread of questions that i wanted to ask around your project and that i wanted to know your learning journey so uh, thank you yuvraj for having this very small but very interesting conversation with me um, i got some very useful insights out of this thank you yuvraj for this interaction Thank you ma'am